Today we'll be learning another concept using Vedic mathematics. In this week's video, we'll be learning how to do the base method. And this method has helped me so much in solving some really complicated math problems in only 5 seconds. And guys, this series is getting much more fun and fun. So make sure you watch every single video. Stay tuned to learn more. Welcome back on NP Station. As I said, today we'll be learning how to do the base method. This method is for multiplying numbers near the powers of 10, such as 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, so on and so on. So, how will we get started? How will we start off with an easy one? How about 14 times 12? So, first, um, we have to draw like a T chart. So we're gonna draw it just like that. Now, step one is we have to decide the base. So I'm gonna write the steps here. So the base in this problem is going to be 10. So I'm gonna just gonna write 10 over there. So this is how you decide the base. You're going to decide which one of the bases, such as 10, 100, and 1000, are closer to these two numbers. And in this problem, it's 10. So we've decided the base. Now, the um, second step is we have to subtract. So we're, I'm just going to write minus. So what we have to subtract is 14 minus 10, and that equals plus 4. And we also have to do 12 minus 10, and that equals plus 2. All right, so now we're done with these two steps. So step 3, we have to cross add. So I'm going to write cross addition. So we have three steps now, and I have cross addition. So we have to add these um, numbers. So we're going to add 14 plus 2, or you can do 12 plus 4, and they all equal the same thing. So how about we do 14 plus 2, and that equals 16. And we can also do 12 plus 4, and it equals 16. Now. The second step is, I mean, sorry, the fourth step is we have to um, multiply. So we're going to multiply these two numbers. I'm just going to list it all here. So we have to multiply. Now, we're going to multiply plus 4 times plus 2. And that equals 8. Voila! You have your answer. And 14 times 12 equals 168. Wasn't that so simple? How about we try to multiply some bigger numbers now? How about 96 times 98? So we're going to write the T chart and we're going to set everything up. So let me set everything up now. Um, step number one is we have to decide the base. And in this problem, the base isn't 10, it's 100. Because 96 and 98 is closer to 100 than 10 or 1000. So how about we list that down? So now we know we've decided the base. So step two is we have to subtract. So we're going to subtract 96 minus 100, and that equals minus four. Now we also have to do 98 um, minus 100, and that equals minus 2. So we're done with step 2, now let's move on to step 3, and which is cross addition. So we're going to add these numbers. So either we can do 96 plus minus 2, or we can do 98 plus minus 4. 
They all equal the same thing. So how about in this problem we do 98 plus minus 4? And that equals 94. And 96 plus minus 2 still equals the same thing, which is 94. So now we're done with step 3. So let's move on to step 4, which is multiply. So we are going to multiply these two numbers. Minus 4 times minus 2, which is plus 8. So we're going to write 8 down. But wait, do you guys think this is the right answer? Do you guys think 948 is the right answer? Well, actually, it's not. The right, uh, we always have to pay attention to how many zeros there are in the base. And then for this problem, there are two zeros. Because in 100, there are two zeros. So that's how many digits there have to be and when you multiply these two numbers. So how about I write that down? I'm gonna, um, so the base method actually includes a fifth step, which is we always have to pay attention to the number of zeros in the base. All right, so now I listed the fifth step. So how many zeros are there, guys? Yes, you're right, there are two. So, well, how are we gonna, how are we going to add two digits in this when you multiply? It's simple, all you have to do is add a zero right before the eight. And voila, you have your answer, guys. And what is it? It's 9,408. That was so simple and easy. And once you guys get the like all the five steps, you'll be able to do the base method in only about five to 10 seconds. So in these previous two problems, we have multiplied two digit numbers. But how about in this last one, we multiply some bigger numbers. So maybe we should do four digit numbers. So maybe we should do 9,997 times 9,994. Okay, so those are pretty big numbers. So let's do the T chart. And guys, don't be scared because it's not gonna be um, that tough than these two problems because we're using the base method. So um, the first step is we have to determine the base and in this problem, it's gonna be 10,000. So let's write that down. So we're gonna write 10,000. So now we know what the base is. So step two is we have to subtract these numbers uh, minus 10,000. So let's do 999, nine, sorry, 9,997 minus 10,000. And that equals minus three. So now we also have to um, minus, subtract this number minus 10,000 and that equals minus six. So now let's move on to step three, which is the cross addition. So we have to add these two numbers. So how about we do um, 9,994 9, plus minus three. And remember guys, if you do the other way around, it equals the same thing. So um, this equals 9,991. So now we're done with step number three. So let's move on to step four. And um, step four says we have to multiply. So we're gonna multiply these two numbers. And we have to multiply minus three times minus six. And that equals plus 18. So guys, I have left some space over here on purpose because you can't forget the fifth step. You always have to pay attention to how many zeros there are in the base. And in 10,000, there are four zeros. So we need four digits down here. But we already, we already have two digits. So we only have to add two more digits. So we're gonna add the two zeros right before 18. And guys, Guess what? We have our answer. And that's a huge number. 
So the answer is ninety nine million nine hundred ten thousand eighteen. That's huge, guys. So I um in these three problems, I、uh, we learned a lot of stuff, and we learned how to do the base method. And I hope you guys had lots of fun and learned a lot of things, just like I did. And I will be doing lots more Vedic mathematics videos, so please stay tuned on NP Station. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share with all of your friends, and give this video a big thumbs up.